Good evening everyone, Mike 80ZZ with my latest uh, project I want to show everyone. This is the azimuth and elevation control system for my new satellite station. Uh, beneath the hood is a Yaesu G800 rotator, uh, standard off-the-shelf rotator. Uh, on top, uh, you'll see that the rotator is on right side up, but the mast clamp is inverted, mounted on the bottom. That's going to be mounted on top of the mast at my, on my tripod. Above that is this aluminum plate. Uh, bolted to the top of the rotator and uh, I've got a pair of pillow block bearings with the center part of the cross boom mounted to that. The uh, linear actuator is mounted to that plate and pushes and pulls on the uh, control arms which rotate the cross boom in the mass. Uh, for position feedback I'm using the potentiometer in the, ro the uh, azimuth rotator and then I'm also using two sensors in this box which will have this weather uh, proof box here uh, covered up. Uh, I've got a Adafruit LSM 303 uh, inclinometer and magnetic compass and I've got a uh, Adafruit Ultimate GPS breakout. The GPS is to keep track of time and keep track of uh, position. With that we know where we are, when we are, and the software can take things from there to be able to track anything we want. I also have a little chip here to act as a uh, I2C extender. I'm using a pair, a piece of a uh, Cat5 cable to run down from the, the uh, masthead sensors down onto the controller. Right now everything is kind of mounted on a test stand in the front yard. Uh, just trying to make sure everything is working right here, so uh, bear with the mess. But uh, the, the power cable and that Cat5 cable come into my new rotator controller. Uh, this is mounted to an Arduino Mega, because Uno was just too small. And then uh, we've got an encoder, an Adafruit-based uh, LCD breakout with uh, four buttons to go up, down, and so on and so forth. And using these four buttons, I can move the uh, setup up, down, and everywhere I want to go. Uh, sorry for the wind. I'm uh, running everything on the computer here at the moment. And uh, to give you a little demo, I'm going to set the unit to track the moon. Again, we know when we are, we know where we are, we know where the moon is, so therefore we can track the moon. So here we go. She's rotating. And elevating. Now, it may be hard to see, so I'll pitch it over and you can see that we are now rotated to 181 degrees and elevated to 25. Uh, looks like the moon is at 32, so she's continuing to little bit by little bit elevate up to get the rest of it. Uh, I still need to do a lot of tweaking yet to get the uh, inclinometer set right to have all the proper feedback and with the right scaling. Right now this is running PWM control to the um, to the linear actuator so we have slow and fine tune abilities but uh, you should see be moving a little bit there not by much just fine tuning things. Uh, hope you like it uh, when everything is all said and done she will track the moon you can well, let's see if the clouds will pass. There it is. You see the moon right there. And she's pointed pretty much right at it. So, lots more to come from this. Eventually, I'm going to have a pair of M-squared antennas mounted to this. One is a 2-meter, uh, 14-element circular. The other is a 70-centimeter, 42-element circular. So, hope to be able to work people on the bands, on the birds, and possibly even off the moon. 73 is all, and uh, see, uh, talk to you again soon. 80-0-CZ.